Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back another day with another unboxing. Here we have something that I've been wanting for many years now. Finally, finally, after all these years, I have a phone soap. The first time I mentioned phone soap in my blog was eight years ago, back in 2014. And if you have seen any of my videos, you have probably catched up that I'm a germaphobe. And I've been that all, all my life, way before COVID, way before it was hip to be germaphobic. Uh, so phone soap product has always been very interesting for me uh, since the first time I saw it, of course. I have through the years been watching uh, watching my uh, phones with hand sanitizer glass cleaner whatever and a couple of years ago i bought this one invisible shield from sag and for the only reason that phone soap wouldn't ship overseas for many years but now luckily they have a european shop eu shop uh, but they don't have all their products there. And I have mailed the company a couple of times and it seems like the products are not um, approved in, EU, in Europe yet, but they are going to. So I wanted the Pro, the Phone Soap Pro uh, in white, but it wasn't available in white and I'm pretty sure that they did not have it in the European shop. So this is the brand new Phone Soap 3. And I'm going to tell you about the differences. And I also want the wand. I don't know the name for it. Uh, so you can glow it on whatever you want. Any surface. The steering wheel in the car. The gear shift. Handles. And me that visiting hotels from time to time. I, I absolutely want that thing. And then we have the phone soap home. The big one where you can put your tablet. Uh, remote controls. Uh, Xbox PlayStation controller keys everything in this small one i put everything that fits uh, pliers uh, nail clippers toothbrush everything so this small little thing that i've used at least 10 times a day for the years that i've had it i don't know how many years it's just that i don't know how effective it is uh, you plug it, it is as basic as it can get, and there is nothing wrong with that. It's just that I haven't seen any review, any test, any comparison, anything at all, so I don't know how effective it is. So I use it all the time, even though you're not supposed to do that, but I do it. So you just plug it in, USB, and you have six small uh, diodes, lamps, UV lamps, diodes i don't even know the english word for it on the sides and the white surface on the inside are supposed to yeah spread the light and i don't know if you can see that but i have used it so much that it's actually yellow and burnt on the inside because i use it from time over and over again you push start and i don't know how long the cycle is i think five minutes maybe longer, you have four lights, 25%, 50, 70, 25, 50, 7,500. And I use it over and over and over and over again because I have it standing by my computer and I use it all the time. I don't know how effective it is, but still there are some things that I really, really like about the phone soap that that's, that one doesn't have. So first of all, we have two large uh, light bulbs, UV bulbs. And the Pro that I don't have, but I'm absolutely going to get it, has more of them. I have, those have two on top and two underneath. And they say that they are same, same. It's just that the cycle on this one is 10 minutes and on the Pro is five minutes, uh, but still. I want a pro anyway and I can have one by the bed and one by the computer 
The Pro also have a automation uh, function that when you close the lid, it turns on right away. So, beautiful white. They have them in a bunch of colors and I think I'm gonna get one of them in the Tiffany green because I have some Tiffany boxes on my desk and I think that that will look good. So, the main thing that I like about the foam soap is that you have the large UV bulbs. One underneath and one on top. This one has six smalls on the sides. And then we have this finished chrome finish that is supposed to spread uh, the lighting. The Pro is even better with that. But the main thing, the main thing with this one is that you can fit a cable in it and close the lid. And since I, I am always by the computer, I want to be able to charge my phone while it's in it because I'm going to use it over and over and over and over again. And I want to charge my phone at the same time. So I can use this and have the cable connected to the phone at the same time. Another great thing is that this one, uh, you have to have a real power cable to it that you connect to the outlet. Uh, so used USB connected to the computer or this computer screen isn't good enough. But you have a USB and a USB-C outlet on the back. So you can charge your phone uh, from the USB-C directly into the phone while it's laying there. And you can have the USB for your Apple Watch, for, for example. Uh, so if you have this by your bed or whatever computer, you can charge two items at the same time. Uh, so one USB-C and one USB. One more thing that this one has is that it's made to, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so there are sort of outlets or vents that will enhance the sound from the phone because in the, in the day when I have my phone in this one, sometimes I miss messages because I don't hear it, even though the lid is very very thin here they're supposed to enhance the sound so you will hear what's happening with the phone on the inside messages notes whatever so you're supposed to hear it out feels like a really great sturdy product they also have a portable one that is called phone soap go i think it's just exactly like this one is just that you can charge it and it will work without the power outlet but I don't have a use for that I don't I don't think so yeah so that's it uh, indicator light power and USB acoustic pass-through that was the thing that I was trying to explain to you uh, the phone strip has been lab tested and proven to kill 99.99 percent of the following household germs and phone soap is an old company now and they have done test and test and test and they have a bunch of videos on their website or or on the youtube channel and other partners other parts uh, have done the same test with the same results and comparing them with other products etc etc so phone soap is absolutely a product that i have my trust in uh, they are well known and well tested and uh, now after the pandemic i'm pretty sure that their sales have skyrocketed and that's what may be why they finally got a european site so really happy over this one let me know if you want to see me review the i don't remember the name of the wand but it's a stick that you can glow on whatever you want and i really want that for when i go to hotels um for the car for, I have infinity usage of it. Same with the phone soap home. That is the big box where you can put your uh, tablet and I'm gonna put everything that fits in it, everything. If you wanna see me do those videos, let me know, comment. Do you have anything like this? Uh, there are a bunch of other products after phone soap where you can wireless charge your phone on top. Why on top? Why not? 
inside, uh, etc., etc. But phone soap is is the brand to um, to go with. I'm really eager to plug it. One in. minor uh, issue for us living in Sweden that have the power outlets down on the floor. This will not be long enough so I can use it on my bed stand. Uh, but my main reason for this one is to have it by the computer. There is no problem there because I have outlets under the under the desk. But uh, the power cord is quite short. So I'm hoping that I can order a longer one. I think they have a bunch of extra accessories on their website. I'm pretty sure I saw that on the US website. The European website is not as um, filled with products at the moment. So um, I'm going to buy the Pro as well and then I'm hoping that I'm going to get a longer cable. It is super easy to use. You see the blue light that means that it's on. Every time I close the lid or open and close the lid it turns on. So I'm going to put my case in because I'm filming with my phone. I have a iPhone 13 Pro Max and it's just that it fits. Uh, but that is also the biggest phone on the market. I I'm pretty sure that the Pro is larger on the inside. Uh, so I'm really curious about the Pro model. And then close the lid and that's it. And 10 minutes after, I'm pretty sure that the lights will uh, go out and then it's done. So that's it, very easy to use.